Alright, so today's work of art is going to be inspired by The Dot by Vashi. I've got your name and class code on the back, so we'll flip it over so that we have a nice, clean piece of paper to work with. These are called temper cakes, and they work like watercolors. You add water to the paints, spin your brush around until it turns that color, and then you can spin your brush around on your paper to make a dot. You can mix right there on the the paints and you can make different colors so I just made a red blue which is a purple a very dark purple but when we need fresh colors you're gonna get a towel a wet towel or a paper towel and you're going to clean those paints up so that you get a fresh clean color we want to make sure that we keep our towels folded so that we can find new spaces because we can use those towels over and over and over and over again okay and now there's my fresh bright beautiful red and I'm making my big dot there get my brush washed out now I'm gonna do purple spinning my brush around and I'm gonna do a dot there and another little dot there and a little dot there and a little dot there wash my brush out oh my yellow is kind of yucky I'm gonna get my towel and just wipe it clean Find a new spot on my towel that's nice and clean and then fold that up into a new clean spot for the next time I need it or for when my partner needs it. Spin my paint or my brush around, my paint pan around. Okay, nice big, big dot with the yellow on a nice big one there. Okay, so big, so big. And it's okay if it overlaps my other little purple dot there. That's okay great okay now look check it out my paints they dry so fast these temper cakes are awesome because they dry so fast I'm gonna have another big dot over here another little dot over here lots of dots everywhere filling my paper up with so many beautiful dots just like Vashi did in the story the dot. Such a great story. I love that story because it shows us that we can all be artists. Now I've mixed some color into my white, so I've got a very light blue going on there. But I need to then, of course, clean my whites up so that we can mix other colors in it. Oh, look at that. That's already dry. That's amazing. So I can even put a dot inside my dot once the first dot, of course, is dry. I can overlap dots as well. So here I'm just going to overlap one dot on top of the other one because that red dot is already dry. So I can put a green dot on top. I would not want to do that if my red dot was not yet dry, but it is, so we're good. Put Mixing a little blue into my green makes a beautiful aqua color. Gosh, I just love that color. But my partner might not, so I gotta clean it up and get it nice and ready for the next time we need it. Clean my blue up because I'm bringing that on there. Oh my gosh, look how fresh and clean that blue looks. That's fantastic. Clean my white up so that it's nice and ready for the next time we need it. Making sure everything stays nice and clean. And now my dot project is done. That looks fantastic, and yours is going to look fantastic too. 